Alright, let's try and jump through the turns pretty quickly here. I had one battle. I also explored the, um, the throne, but I grabbed this from the barbs. I did lose my initial Voivod or whatever. What's his name? Yeah, Voivod. Um, so that's a bit of a shame. But my Williams boys are still rocking out. Um, now that they no longer have a bunch of swordsmen in front of them, they're going to be using their broadswords a bit more, probably. Um, so I've put them in a line. It'll slow them down, but it won't stop their arrows. It'll also make them more impervious to the other guy's crossbows, hopefully. Also, this turn, I'm hoping to expand twice. So, I've reinforced my initial army here. And they, alongside my prophet, are pushing into this. Shouldn't be too much trouble. It's just archers and some militias and that. Um, so, hopefully, my, score, my graphs will get a bit steeper. Let's look at the graphs. Um... <coughs> So, Gath seems to be running away with initial expansion here. Now, I don't think that's necessarily wise, because it makes him a target. But I, I'm much happier with my position of top of the regulars. I'm actually very impressed that I'm that high up. There's only three other people who are equal to me. Two others, and then Gath, who's stronger. And seeing as how Bagaris has terrible expansion opportunities, I think that's very good. The only other graph I, graph I care about at this stage is research. So let's look at that. Now, I started out way at the bottom. I am now tied for third place for research. Tian Chi over here is still researching at a sharper angle than me, but he's the only one. So pretty soon I will become a solid second in research, with Tian Chi, of course, cheekily being first out from under me. See, so did anyone else find any gems? Yep, I think people have begun sight searching. I will soon. And look at Gath is pulling ahead with those extra provinces. All right. See you guys next turn. Okay, the expansion this turn did not go terribly well, you guys. I conquered exactly zero provinces. I did conquer this one, but then, um, Tian Chi swiped it from me. I lost my profit as well, which is a bit of a shame. So yeah, next turn, I did win these stupid, uh, San and Kinder. So I'm gonna use them to try and take these heavy cavalry, but I'm not holding out the most hope in the world for that one. And that's my only expansion this turn. So, no expansion one turn, and possibly no expansion the next. So I'm gonna go back down to where I expected to be, which is mid to lower tier expansion. Um, which is definitely too bad. I was kinda looking forward to having a solid expansion here. But what are you gonna do? Um... Next turn, I'll start my first castle. I might put it here. Now, I am thinking that I have no real reason not to put castles next to each other for Bagars because I have the productivity scales. The castles are really there to recruit mages, not so much to recruit troops. So, getting the optimal amount of resources each is not a high priority. So, I might put one there, there. I might have a glob altogether. That means my mages can easily join up with each other as well. But for now, my next uh, castle is probably going to be right there, which I should start next turn. But yeah, this turn, I have one expansion. Next turn, I definitely, unless if some new power comes in from this direction, I should be grabbing that province. And then I should hopefully use that army to grab a few provinces. Like, um, this army could really do with some chaff, sadly, uh, to deal with the heavy calves. But I do not have the chaff around to help them. So... I'm just going to use the Son and Kinder raw against cavalry, and I think I'm going to lose them. I think it's all bad. Uh, Mercs-wise, I could grab these fishermen, but... Uh, and grab that water province, but that's not really high priority. I'd rather get the castle. I think I... I might just grab... I might just cheekily bid the minimum for him. But it was a shame to lose Williams, boys, for sure. Let's watch that battle, actually. Why not? I don't know what... I, I don't know. I think putting them in a line was a bad call, because they rout. Also, something a bit dumb is my um, general charges forward. Look at him there. William, the captain, is running forward. It's because I set him on attack rear, and he's too far away from the rear to attack it. It was all stupid. He doesn't die. He routes since before he dies, but uh, I think I should not have done that. And yeah, I put him in a block. This is not a hard Indies to face. I don't know. 
So next turn, one, maybe one, possibly zero. Expansion. Turn after that for sure is one. If I win this one, I could push up to there. We'll see how it goes. But I'm looking at kind of a blob like this for my for my um, final size. Yeah, that's a bit of a shame. I, if every turn is like this, it's all going to be bad. But um, just one turn, I'll survive it. So I'll see you next time. No expansion again this turn, which really means I'm starting to suck air in the expansion department. Look at this. I went from first place here to last place with two turns of no expansion. No one else has gone two turns of no expansion since ever in this game. So that's really bad. But uh, my expansion list time is over. I would be very surprised if I don't take this province next turn. Um... I've started building a fort as well. It's a bit late by Bogar standards, but it's not bad. I'll have it done by the end of spring next year. Um, next turn I'll try to get one as well. I wasted a mercenary company attacking this province, which was foolish. But I really want... I just felt like I shouldn't go without attacking anything, but I probably should have because I pretty much knew I was going to lose. Just a waste of gold right there, really. Um, there's elephants out this turn, but I'm not bidding on them because I don't really have the expansion potential. Every indie I can see, I'll be attacking next turn, so, except thrones. So I'm not bothering with mercs anymore. I think I'll be done unless if I happen to find some nice, tasty mage or whatever. But yeah. Um, in the capital, I've started recruiting a starret, and I've started recruiting knights. And what their job is going to be is throne poppers. So in a few turns, when everything else is cleared up, I'm going to start hitting going for thrones. And hopefully I can at least get that one. Possibly both. But I'm guessing Tin Chi will be gunning for that one. <coughs> Mary might be gunning for that one, but I think I can scoop him on it. Um, yeah, let's uh, jump forward a turn, because I have it in front of me. See you in a sec. Alright, I finally successfully expand this turn. Let's take a look at it. Now, um, this army is pretty much the best I can muster in terms of expanding, or at least the best I can find to muster. Um, bunch of Peshtis, double line of them, with uh, Voids on the flanks. Now, actually, this is kind of dumb, because these here Voids are the wrong kind of Voids. I made a mistake. I should have gone with uh, Javelins, and I went with Axes. Just a stupid clicking error when I recruited them. I hadn't noticed until now I grabbed the wrong kind. So, um, I wish they were javelinizing these guys, but they're not. But actually, it's not too bad, because somehow, they managed to flank and hit them in the archers, which is kind of perfect. Exactly what I want them to be doing. But, um, I wish I had javelins. But yeah, minimal losses. No problem here. These guys are both more numerous and stronger than these medium infantries. So I lose 8 dudes out of 65. Not bad at all. And next turn I'm going to get a bunch of reinforcements and do it again. Um, hopefully I'll lose even fewer because I have so many. And then uh, maybe I can expand to one of those two provinces, but quite likely I will pull back from there to there. Jump one of the, and then next turn... Let's see. Then, yeah, one turn of no expansion, and then I grab the throne, basically, unless if I can cheekily swipe one of those two provinces. Um, otherwise, I f uh, somehow failed to get enough money to get a fort this turn, which is super dumb. But I'm just grabbing a handful of them, finishing up my Peshti, and leaving some money in the bank so that next turn I can grab a fort. Um, I'm starting to site search over here. I don't think I've mentioned that yet. Also, it looks like Tian Chi is about to claim this throne with ancestor vessels. So I'm actually sneaking a scout in just so I can get a look at his bless if I can, which will be some important information. Um, but yeah, that's more or less it this turn. Uh, score graphs, uh, there's now three of us tied for the bottom of provinces, which is kind of funny actually because it's me, Alm, and Tian Chi. In other words, all of us cr crammed into this corner. We clearly didn't have enough Laban's realm around here, so we're going to be kind of the third world. But I'm hoping to break out. We'll see how it goes. See you next turn. Alright, I conquered another province this turn. And um, I actually bounced off of Marignan. So let's take a look at that. Um, 
one nice thing is I get to see Marignon's Bless, and I'm very glad I did, because um, his Bless is kind of not what I'd be expecting. He has a Astral 9 Bless, which gives him Twist Fate on his frontline infantries, basically. Which is kind of a big deal, because it does very well against um, Thunderstrike, which is what I was planning on dropping on those infantries. So now I need to rethink that a bit. He still has a bunch of uh, crossbows, which is much more what you'd expect from Marignan. And um, his crossbows will still die in droves to Thunderstrike, but his front line, I really need to kill them. And they all are immune to the first strike, so... Uh, they won't die to a Thunderstrike. So I'm going to need to maybe switch it up. I'm thinking I have a few options. I have... Um, I have fire clouds, and I have sulfur haze, so I'm going to play out some test runs and see if either of those will help against the, the situation with Twisted Fate. Otherwise, not that much this turn. I did get started on another fort, finally, and next turn I'm hoping to start one again. And I'm not, in that vein, I'm not recruiting a single troop. All I'm doing is grabbing an H3 over here, who I can prophetize to H4 and get myself fanaticism, which is quite a big deal. He's also there to conquer thrones. Um, so as I said... These two are both taken, so I'm going to pull back down here and attack the throne next turn. So that should be all good. The only big problem is the the Twisted Fate, which is going to give me trouble. But yeah, um, if you look at the score graphs, I'm the only one of the runts who did any expansion this turn. So I'm one province above the bottom at the moment, which is good. Research-wise, I'm a solid second, but Marignan is starting to pick it up. His graph is almost as steep as mine now, but he's nowhere near as high up as me. So he might have something, bring something to bear. I'm doubting he'll be able to get anything much with that, though, even despite it getting steeper lately. Um, I still don't have any gems. I'm third for income, which is very good, given as how I'm second to the bottom for provinces. Um, let's see. Yeah, there's a... Uh, Still a few of us kicking around with no jam income. Still quite a few, so that's not that bad. Um, alright, I'll see you next turn. Alright, I'm still trucking along here. No new expansion this turn, but that's expected. Next turn I should be grabbing a throne. Um, and looking at it, this throne might actually open up some cheeky expansion in the back garden over here. We'll see how it actually goes, but I wouldn't be surprised if I wind up with this province as well, which would be a nice little boost. Um, in terms of war preparation, I've been running some, some tests, and this Astral Nine Blessing really does a number on my Thunderstrike. I haven't found a way to deal with it yet, so that's a bit of a shame. But um, I won't worry about it for now. I'll prepare an army, because it's good to have an army. So in that vein, I'm grabbing an Astropologist. I'll grab a couple of them. They can also, they have some lab utility for now. I'm still not grabbing any troops, but next turn I won't be able to afford a castle. So if I grab no troops, I should be able to afford a lab soon. I guess it'll be the turn after next that I can afford that lab, actually. Um, but I have no money for troops, because I did just buy a castle this turn. So I'm up to three castles in production. Um, one thing is... Our lovely Gath has just grabbed his first castle, so I'm not the first to have a castle, but I wasn't expecting to be. I'm hoping to have the most castles. And next turn, if I get a any kind of a gold event, then I'll be able to afford a castle, otherwise I won't. But uh, that's alright, next turn maybe I'll grab some troops, or whatever. Um, this battle, I only have the one battle mage, but Sulphur Haze is a big help, and this army, even without this boost, is of course pretty damn strong, as we've seen. So I would be surprised if I don't get the throne. Um, I have a new H3, who's going to be one turn behind. He's going to claim the throne. And my star at Sanctus is actually going to um, sight search there as well. So it's all good. I'm just dicking around this turn. Not that much going on. Three turns until I get my next castle out. And that's the big deal. And no one's jumping me. I know that Tinchi's not going to jump me, which is very nice. Alm, I would be very surprised if he jumped me. I'm guessing that actually these two guys are both going to go after Gath. So I might actually send a wee message to Gath saying blah, 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 
all my neighbors are going to attack you, but it looks like I'm not. We'll see how that goes down, but uh, not too much this turn. I'll see you next turn. Alright, so this is quite an eventful turn. I had uh, bad news and good news. Let's start with the bad news. The bad news is my expansion against the throne. I lose. So now that I've destroyed the suspense, we can watch it. I barely lose as well. It's really kind of tragic. My knights get blocked. All bad. Yeah, it's just a jumbled mess over here. Knights all over the place. Pashti's all over the place. It's not that great. These guys still haven't used their lances yet. Because they got blocked. Peshtis are very bad at dealing damage. They're lousy. All around terrible troops. It's one of the big weaknesses of Bagaris, I suspect, is how rubbish these Peshtis are. I have no chance of winning any battles with anything other than magic because my troops just can't hit. Look at this. These two guys have been going after these two long dead for a while. Yeah, finally got one of them. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that took a while to kill those long dead. Against humans, it's nigh impossible to deal any damage. My, um... Sulfur Haze has killed a few, though. Yeah, at this point, it looks like I've got the battle in my hand. His lights are running. He's got some heavies kicking around. And this is pretty much only blood slaves and archers. So I should be able to hit him in the underbelly at this point. The knights do actually deal damage. The knights have been killing a lot of people. They're pretty decent troops, but they're so expensive and so resource intensive. It's crazy. Late game, if I have a lot of gold, I could use a front line of knights. It's a possibility. Because look at that. The knights are the only ones killing anything, really. to killing him and him. Yeah, it's the battle's basically over at this stage. All his infantry, he has a handful of heavies left. I'm starting to kill blood slaves. I just murdered a mage. But now my Peshti's flee. There they go, running away. Like cowards. Well, I had two lines of Peshti's, and one of the lines has just fleed. Down to two mages. I'm hitting his crossbows with my knights. Armies of Bogaris have routed. He has this much left. Some crossbows. Oh, and look at this. His bloody... Um... Last... Mage has just fleed as well. So yeah, I, I was hair's breath away, but I lost. So I said there was good news and bad news. Here's the good news. 
I found pretty much the best level one site in the game. Free castle. And two gems, two potential recruits. It's amazing. Now, I wish to God I'd discovered this somewhere where I wasn't already building a castle. If you look at this. He can continue fort construction? I don't know. I don't understand that at all. But, yeah, I paid for a castle here, and then I got my free castle here. Now, I'm not complaining. I'm very happy to get a free castle. It means my castle graph goes from late to the party to right on time. There are three people have two castles, and I'm one of them. And I'm right on time to this party, but for the second castle party, I'm going to be way ahead. Two months' time, I'm going to have three castles, which is pretty amazing. Um, so what did I get? I got two new guys. This guy's an excellent researcher, but he doesn't come near as good as the uh, Master of Names. So he's slow to recruit is the big problem. I mean, he's better than a Master of Names, but for two cap, for two fort turns. The real value of him is he has water. Good chance of water random on him. He's going to be my only access to water. He also has, aside from water and cross paths with water, the only other cross path he has that I don't is air and earth, which is very nice. It means rain of stones, possibly. So I'm definitely going to grab some of them for the water. The other option is this guy. Now this guy is an interesting guy. He's pretty much the worst thug in the game that's a viable thug. He gets two randoms, water, or two, he gets this, and water one, earth one are okay, air two is amazing. I'm going to grab some of them because they're a cheaper way to get access to the water, and I might um, luck into a good thug chassis, but only like one in three, one in four of them are any good. But it is my only thug chassis, is Bogar, so it opens up a lot of stuff. But the big help, really, is that I get three turns early on my castle, four turns early, and I get earth income which is something I've been needing to have. So I'm grabbing a lab for that castle this turn. I'm grabbing a another general there, because it's the only thing I can get. Um, here I'm grabbing another astropologist, so I will have two. Um, and the first astro is uh, going to build the lab for this castle. So a lot of my graphs are looking a lot sharper now. I, it's, I would say it's a pretty good turn. I really hope... and. I lost this battle with a lot of retreats, so I'm going to just throw the same army at it again, and I'm very hopeful. All the mages are dead. Here, let's see this. Everything is dead but one commander, annoyingly, um, 12 heavy infantry, 18 crossbows, and 8 blood slaves. So I think that will be very easy, and I shouldn't have too much trouble getting it. I'm getting... Um, Sermon of Courage and Smite on the go as well. Still with the um, Sulfur Haze. So next turn I should get that throne, and then the turn after I can grab it and Sight Search it. I would say it's, in on aggregate, a pretty good turn, although a lot of things could have been better. Like, for example, this bloody castle could have been there. Then I would have an extra free castle out of the deal instead of just a castle four turns early. Um... But yeah, I shouldn't complain. This, uh, this site is rare and extremely good. Um, yeah, I because of, I've lost all these troops, I am actually recruiting troops again this turn, which might mean I won't have enough gold for a castle there next turn. But hopefully I will. Oh, no, I won't, because I'm going to have to build a lab. So the turn after next, I'll grab that castle, and then I'll be done castle building for a while, sadly. Um, which means it's time to start thinking about Laguerre. And um, Laguerre means... Marignan over here. What I would love to see is to have Marignan attack Gath, and then I could jump him right afterwards. Um, because I have a lot of trouble killing him with his blessing, and with my Peshtis being rotten. But yeah, this will be the last turn for this episode, because things look like they're about to change pretty significantly. I think it's the end of the initial game, and we're properly into the early game now. I'm going to have three castles soon. I'm going to start really pumping out the mages. Three castles plus the best research and the most mages. I can do a lot with that. Um, if it weren't for the for his blessing, Marignan would be completely toast. With the blessing, he's less toast. But still, if I get enough... Ask 
Um, yeah, so that's more or less it. I'll see you um, next episode.